Marty, congratulations on the milestone. And it's kind of unbelievable to think that we've had 50 years of fintech disruption when it still seems new. There's still so much innovation in the space. And, you know, as I mentioned in the lead in, you're competing against the likes of Square and others that are using a lot of their data to sell other products. How do you guys stay innovative and relevant over the next 50 years? Well, it is so important. You know, the idea has always been about serving clients and their employees. And we're excited that it's really a digital transformation, uh, whether it's on-site or, or distributed workforces. And the idea is to be very flexible and very mobile. You know, we have a five-star mobile app that does everything for employees that they need. You can now, these days, you can talk to Siri uh, or, uh, you know, or Google and ask them, what's your next paycheck? When am I getting paid? And we have a lot of things that need that give the flexibility to clients and their employees that are so critically important today. Right, but Marty, you see the newer fintech sort of expanding out. They all want to become sort of the, the money app and do everything. What are you guys looking at? Are you looking at expanding products? The, bay now, the buy now, pay later space has been extremely hot. And you guys do have a trove of data that you could be using to sell other products. How are you thinking about it? Yeah, we do. We use a, a tremendous amount of our data. Having over 700,000 clients, uh, we have a tremendous amount of data, and we use that to build, uh, to support our clients through data analytics so that they can, a, a small or mid-sized business can have the same power uh, that a large business does as to how they can use that data, how they look at their employees, whether they're going to have retention problems, what do they pay their employees. They really can have the power of our data at their fingertips. And we also have a, a great deal of flexibility. So what you can do, you know, we have an awful lot of pay on demand today where people aren't waiting. Their employees don't have to wait to be paid uh, in a biweekly or a monthly payroll. They can take the pay, especially in a gig economy, immediately. And we're the only company to offer things like real-time payments. Real-time payments means you get your payroll immediately. So if a client calls us and wants to run a payroll today, we can do it as quick as 15 seconds on average uh, that they can get their dollars. So it's being very nimble, very quick, and very innovative. You know, Marty, when I think of you guys, I, I think about the number of, and this has been borne out in the data, of people starting their own business in the wake of COVID, leaving an employer, deciding to go out on their own, and in turn, hiring a couple other people. I wonder over time if the number of clients that Paychex has with a small number of employees is going to grow. Well, it does. You know, Carl, you know the numbers are up. Over 50 percent brand new business startups over last year. It's incredible during a, a pandemic. But so many people have left larger businesses and started these small businesses. And it's that it was their time when they wanted to give it a try. And we've seen a tremendous up, up increase in sales based on those small businesses and startups that fits everything we do. We service one to a thousand employees and some over that. Uh, but that is our niche. And we are continuing to see a lot of startups that then continue to grow, particularly into that 5, 20, or 50, even 50 employees.